magazine we've been reading for a while. The title of it is January 15, 2015, the simplified edition of the Watchtower. The article is Let Jehovah Fortify and Safeguard Your Marriage. Actually, build a strong and happy marriage. That's the one. Unless Jehovah builds the house, it is in vain that its builders work hard on it. You know what it means? Unless God builds the house, It is a waste of time for the workers to build it. This article is called, in, well, I said the name of the article, Build a Strong and Happy Marriage. Include Jehovah in your marriage. That was the first section. Husbands who are loving family heads. The way a husband takes the lead in his family can help build a strong and happy marriage. The Bible says the head of every man is the Christ. In turn, the head of a woman is the man. 1 Corinthians 11.3 Do you know what that means? La cabeza de, lo, de un hombre es el Cristo. Y la cabeza de una mujer es un hombre. Do you know what it means? ¿Qué es la cabeza? ¿Los brazos te dicen haz esto o tu cabeza? Dice. Entonces la cabeza de un hombre no es lo que el hombre dice, sino que es lo que dice Cristo. ¿Y qué dice Cristo? Los dos mandamientos que dice. Amar a Dios sobre todo. Y el segundo, amar al prójimo. Mm -hmm. Wives who are humble, wives who are humble and submissive. Esposas que son humildes y sumisas. Sumisas no existe, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿Existe la palabra? Unselfish love for Jehovah that is based on his principles will help us to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Tú tienes que ser humilde y yo tengo que ser humilde. Ante Dios. Él no necesita a los humanos, o si sí los necesita. Dios no necesita nada. Pero Él decide ayudarnos. Esa es la creencia. Él nos quiere. For He loved the world so much that he sent his only son, his only begotten son. Es diferente de que somos hijos de Dios. Begotten quiere decir que antes que hizo cualquier cosa, hizo a Jesucristo.
¿Cómo lo hizo? Si primero hizo la mar, la tierra y después lo mandó a él. Lo mandó a él a la tierra. Not to condemn the world, pero para enseñarle al mundo. Y los que creen en Cristo son salvos. John 3.16 ¿Conoces Juan 3.16? Sí, lo For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten mm -hmm. son so that whoever believes in him, Jesus, shall not perish but have life everlasting. Igual que Superman, ¿no? Va a salvar un tren. Dios lo mandó de salvo a los humanos. An important way that a wife shows respect for Jehovah's authority is by cooperating with her husband. The Bible says, You wives, be in subjection to your husbands as it is becoming in the Lord. ¿Qué significa eso? La Biblia dice, esposas, sean sumisas a sus esposos en la forma que dice Dios. La próxima sección dice, Keep forgiving one another freely. ¿Sabe qué significa eso? Keep forgiving. Perdonar. Perdonar. To build a marriage that lasts, husbands and wives must learn to forgive each other. Apply the golden rule, page 19. Most likely you want to be treated with dignity and respect. You appreciate it when others listen to you and care about how you feel. But have you ever heard a person say, I am going to do to him what he did to me. Sometimes this reaction is understandable. However, the Bible tells us, Do not say, I will do to him just as he has done to me. Proverbs 24-29 Jesus taught people the best way to handle difficult situations. What Jesus said is often called the golden rule. Just as you want men to do to you, do the same way to them. ¿Qué significa? Tratad a los demás como tú quieres que te traten a ti. ¿Quién me dio esa regla? La regla de oro. ¿Quién la dio? Jesús. Next section. We need to put into our marriage what we hope to get out of it. 